Rob Fletcher here with ASF TV, Bikini Open A champion, Celeste Kinsey. Congratulations, Celeste. Thank you. So now, how does it feel? It feels amazing. I've wanted a Golden Lady for years, and I finally got one, so. At the Mike Francois class. At the Mike Francois. So, how do you feel about Mike's event? Have you, is this your first time at Mike's event? This is my first time um, at Mike's event. It was amazing. It ran so smooth. Bikini A is already done off the stage, so I couldn't be more happy. We're going to get to eat early. Get to eat. <laughs> so tell me the role of, a, how critical is the role of a trainer in your journey to the stage here at the Mike Francois I could class? not have done this without my nutrition coach, Jason Theobald. Um, he's with Scooby Prep. I do my own training, um, but he's in charge of all my cardio, my nutrition, my macros, everything. And I'm, he brought me in on point, so I couldn't be happier. Most challenging uh, piece to getting to where you are today? Um, it's been a journey for me. I started competing in 2014. Um, this is my eighth show, and I took first in this class. So definitely just keeping up and trusting the process, not giving up on my dreams of getting a gold lady. So just sticking with it, trusting your coach, sticking to the plan, consistency. Consistency. What inspired you to take this journey to the stage? Um, I've always been competitive, and once I got out of college, I used to do volleyball and sports. I was like, I need to get back in something to get me in shape. So this is my motivation to stay on track with my body. Advice you would give to someone looking to step onto the stage for the first time? You just have to want it. If you want it bad enough, it can happen. Find you a coach and stick with it, and you got it. Celeste Kinsey, first place, Bikini Open A, Rob Fletcher, ASF TV, Mike Francois Fletcher, Classic. Back here at the Mike Francois Classic with Cindy McNeil. Cindy, first question, how does it feel? It feels phenomenal. It's a lot of hard work and dedication and commitment, but it was all worth it. I have a few questions for you. You know, okay. we're here with the best of the best, Mike Francois, of course, uh, former Arnold Classic champion, running this great event here. What was this journey like for you for this particular event, and how important or critical was the role of your trainer or coach? Um, there's no way I would be standing here with the changes I've made without my coach. Um, I decided to make some changes back in October and um, from October until now we've worked really hard on just those areas of my body that really needed it and being an older competitor, it's tricky. Our bodies change and he worked really well to get me where I needed to be today. So, uh, How many competitions have you been in the past? This is number eight. No, number eight. Number eight. And a big one. And a big one. At this the is Mike the Mike Francois Classic. Uh, advice or tips uh, for those looking to hit the stage? whether it's a Mike Francois Classic or other competition. I'm thinking just in general, women our age need to just get moving, regardless whether it's for a competition or not. Just get moving, keep moving. As far as competition, the trainer that you choose is critical. You need to have someone that's going to learn your body and learn you. Yes. Key words here. Hashtags. Trainer. Coach. Discipline. Commitment. Hard work. Cindy McNeil. Number one, Masters, Mike Francois Classic. Rob Fletcher, the Mike Francois Classic with Ann Kramer. And first place, how's it feel? It feels great. It's been an awesome experience. Uh, first show. So. First show? Yes, sir. What inspired you to hit the stage? I have a love for fitness, and it was about time to push myself. So. Your most challenging part of your journey from where you were to get you where you are today? My most challenging part, um, consistency and discipline, I would say, are the main components of a successful prep. The role of a trainer or a coach in your journey? Uh, my coach is Adam Atkinson, and he motivates me, he keeps me on track, and it's, motivation. it's been great. Motivation, key word, motivation. What advice or tips would you, be, would you give to people looking to hit the stage for the first time? I know that we have a lot of challenging, uh, challenges are overcoming the fear, the fear factor. That, Definitely. So what would you, what advice would you give? Um, to know that you're not alone. It's very hard to stay motivated if your surroundings aren't with you. So there's a lot of people out there that love to push each other and love the gym. So I would just do that. Follow the advice. She did it. <laughs> Ann Kramer, number one at the Mike Francois Classic. Rob Fletcher, ASF Rob TV. Fletcher. Megan Dernan, first Place. Mike Francois, classic. Mm -hmm. Megan, how's it feel? Feels great. Um, I've definitely worked really hard for this. So. Well, that was really my next proud. question. <laughs> so the journey to the stage. 
how long has it taken to prepare to get to where you are now? Um, I've been dying cutting in a cutting phase for about 14 weeks for this. So. The most challenging part of your journey? Um, the hunger. The hunger. <laughs> of course. Um, I enjoy working out. I enjoy doing cardio. I don't think that's the hard part. I think the mental aspect of it is a lot harder than the physical aspect of it. Your trainer, the role of a trainer, coach, to get you to where you are today, how critical, how important? Um, I think it's very important. I don't know where I would be without my coach. Um, Who is your coach? Um, Mike Eli. Um, he is out of Sheffield, Ohio. And um, he just he guides me with everything, tells me how my body's looking, gives me the right amount of food, gives me the right amount of cardio that I'm supposed to be doing. So it's definitely a big help to guide my body. So what's the future? Um, well, I'm hoping I'm going to do the North Coast in two weeks. And then I think I'm going to be taking a while off because I'm going to be graduating college. Congratulations. And, thank you. And then um, after that, I think after putting on some size, we'll uh, look forward to a national show. Advice or tips that you can give to someone looking to hit the stage of a, of a bodybuilding event? Um, I think definitely take your time. Don't rush and do it. Um, definitely take the time to build the muscle and get to know your body and love your body before you do the sport because it's very critical and fatiguing. You have to be accepting of it. And seek out the advice of a professional trainer yes. to get you to where you want to go. Rob Fletcher, Megan Dernan, ASFT. Fletcher back here at the Mike Francois Classic with Courtney Jones, first place bikini. Yes. How does it feel? Feels really good, really, really good. Tell us your journey from where you were to where you are today. Uh, I started about a year or so ago, met up with uh, Arnold Coleman, who's my coach now. Started training with him. And who, not to interrupt you, Courtney, but who also trained Mike Francois. Yes, yes. And he's now, brings you to the stage, and you're coming <laughs> home with first place. How ironic is that? Very ironic. <laughs> okay, but awesome go ahead. Experience. So so the, the journey, how challenging was it, um, or what was your greatest challenge in your journey? The food. The food. I love food. Me too. Love, love, Me too. Love A lot of people love food. <laughs> and now you can have some food. Yes, pizza and pizookies. So how important is Arnold's role being your trainer in your journey? Very, very important. He's also a great mentor in my life too. Oh, that's so great. So even outside the gym, he's crucial. Can you speak about uh, an adversity or challenge you had to overcome? Or speed bumps that maybe you, that you wanted to share? Yeah, um, actually during prep, because I prepped for about 10 weeks or so, about four or five weeks ago I pulled my hamstring. So not only does it, you're out for a week or two of training, but you're also, you know, you can get down, kind of down and out on yourself. So. And he picked you up. Yes, he did. He picked you up. Mm -hmm. Motivator. Yes. All the motivator. Yes. Well, I can't tell you. Congratulations. Awesome job. Courtney Jones, first place. Mike Francois, classic. What advice would you give to someone looking to take the journey? Just be consistent. Consist Consistency pays off. Yep. Consistency pays off. Get a trainer that will educate and motivate you to be the best you could be on the stage and in the game of life. Yep. Courtney Jones, first place. Rob, Rob Fletcher, Fletcher here at the Mike Francois Classic with Wendy Massey. Wendy, third place and fourth. How does it feel? It feels great. I uh, placed third in the Masters and uh, fourth in the Open C class. And you competed, I, I understand, uh, previously? Yes, this is my first year competing. My last competition was on April 1st. David Lieberman and I placed first overall Master Bikini and first in my class 40 and over. What inspired you to make a goal to hit the stage? I've been in the gym the last couple of years and my inspiration was my fiance. He was my, he's my biggest supporter. Is he here with you? Yes, he's here with me. And also I had some friends in the gym that was um, inspirational also in competing. One was a 56 year old for her first time out last year, Cindy Coyer, and also Linda Andrews. She's, um, they're both, uh, Linda's a trainer in my gym and she competed also. I'm so this discipline, hard work, and get you to the, the level that you're at? Most definitely. The, you know, at my age, starting out at 48, competing for the first time, discipline and dedication is a lot of work. What was your most challenging part of your journey? Is dieting. Dieting. And consistency. You got to be consistent and you got to do your diet. You got to do your diet. What advice would you give to someone who's looking to hit the stage? Uh, for one, find you a good trainer, be consistent, and do your workouts and your consistency and your dieting. Take your notes, get a trainer, consistency, 
Dieting, Wendy Massey, Mike Francois Classic, Rob Fletcher, ASF TV. Train hard, train strong, get it done.